How do you know as a pre-med student if you should retake a class? If you're new here, my name is Dr. Adam Nessam. I'm the founder of The Pre-Med Consultants. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about a question that a lot of students have and no one really seems to know the right answer to, and that's when to actually retake a class. The reason no one knows the right answer is there is no definitive answer to this question. So for example, you could have a B and retake a class if you want. Now, do I necessarily recommend that? No. So we're going to go based off best practices right now. But in reality, there is no medical school checklist of exactly when to retake classes and what grade they don't want to see. Actually, I take that back. Some schools will say like, if you have a C minus or lower on a class, they're not gonna consider that credit. So in that case, that's a great time for retaking a class. So I'd say something C minus and below, you definitely want to retake. But after that, it gets kind of confusing. You could retake a class if you got a C or even a B minus, but here's the thing. A lot of students retake classes because they say, oh, my school has a policy where if you retake it, they only put the higher grade on my transcript. Well, it's good that your school has that policy and that, that'll be nice for your graduation GPA, but it doesn't matter for the GPA that's going on your medical school apps. And that's because in the policy that these medical school applications have, AMCAS or COMAS, you are required to list every grade that you have gotten, even if you retake a class. It's explicitly stated in the guidelines. So that means if you got a C and then you retake it and you get an A, you're not just getting that A, listed. You have to have the C and the A and it'll average out. And so then the question becomes, is your time worth taking a credit again or not being able to get other credits for different classes in, instead repeating the same credits when both are going to have to go on your transcript? Or should you just take an upper level science and show that you've now figured it out, you know how to study well, and you could do well in these upper level science classes? And so there's definitely a fine line. I'd say if you're getting anything B or higher, even B minus, you really shouldn't take it. C is kind of up in the air. If you feel like you really didn't do well and you you know you could do a lot better and you can turn that C into an A, I would say go for it. You don't want to turn a C into a B minus though, or even a B, because at that point, you know, you're not really showing that there's significant improvement. And a C minus or a D, D plus, or obviously an F, then obviously I think you can retake those classes. And so you could either retake those classes at your university in the following semester or maybe later in your senior year, or you could retake it in a post back program. Those are generally the two options. Options. However, if you're doing a post back program, it's also good, again, to show that you can do well in these upper level sciences. And it's also good at your undergrad to show that. So if you're able to get in course like anatomy, physiology, microbiology, biochemistry, obviously, immunology, pathology, all these classes, if you do well, also shows to medical school admissions committees that you know how to handle the academic rigor that you're gonna get in medical school. And so those in a sense can take the place of retaking Orgo 2 just because you have a C. It doesn't mean you can't get into medical school if you have a C in Orgo 2 or one C or two Cs on your transcript. The overall trend is very important and also showing that you do have a good base of classes that you've done well on that are academically challenging. That's gonna go a long way as well. So to answer the question, I kind of laid out some guidelines you could use b minus and above you probably don't need to retake a c is questionable if you really feel like you want to retake it i wouldn't say don't and c minus and below that's a good time to really strongly consider retaking those pre-med prereqs other classes i wouldn't worry about as much if you you know did bad in some random elective i wouldn't worry about retaking it unless your school needs you to it's not as big a deal for the pre-med apps of course you should really try your best to do well on all your classes and hopefully that's in electives you're not doing poorly but the most important thing is that you you are challenging yourself, you're teaching yourself how to properly study, you're really focused in, and if you come up short every once in a while in a class and you end up needing to retake it, it's not the end of the world. But hopefully this video helps answer some of the guidelines of how to approach thinking about whether or not you should retake the class. Every individual situation is going to be different. So if you do have questions about this, feel free to write it in the comments below. Or if you want more personalized advising and coaching throughout the entire process until you get into medical school, click the link below. You'll be able to schedule a call with someone from our team and we'll see how we can help you. That's it for now. If you're getting value from these videos, please, please, please like and subscribe. If you're a pre-med student and you're not subscribed to this channel already, I don't know what you're doing. And I will see you in the next video.